And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Scout Teemo. This is going to be our second uh, viewer submitted donation deck of the day that also could probably just be a meme tier deck, but we're going to play in ranked because we are so close to Masters rank and the, it resets tomorrow. So might as well just, you know, nothing to lose. Might as well just play our decks in ranked today. This one's going to be built around field promotion with Teemo, you know, being able to give Teemo Scout so you can strike or attack with Teemo multiple times in a round so definitely a meme tier idea but like i said we'll just try it out in ranked we're gonna be pairing that with caitlin because caitlin's another champion that giving caitlin scout also really nice like where you can just keep attacking and striking and getting those flash bomb traps put a lot of pressure on the opponent and we can play a lot of like the normal um you know stuff that goes into team of caitlin deck like your sting officer even sting officer with scout could be kind of cool but sting officer puff cap peddler and then Karina at the top end. They can activate all the traps in the top five. Pretty powerful stuff. We'll have two Chump Lumps in here to go along with those Peddlers, given the Mushroom Clouds and leveling up our Teemo. And then we have, uh, since we're playing Demacia for field promotion, we have a lot of Demacia protection. We're going to have Chain Vest and Rangers Resolve at one, Sharp Sight at two, Prismatic Barrier at three, Golden Ages at four, which also rallies while giving the slow speed of Barrier. And then, you, of course, rallies are great with um our scouts we're also gonna have cataclysm which is really good with caitlin mostly um that's that's really what the cataclysm's in here for especially if you have scout caitlin um where you can you know cataclysm with your scout caitlin and then attack with everybody that would be the most ideal scenario but it could also just be a removal spell if you want to use it with like a veteran investigator or a chump lump or something like that so let's go and get to it let's go ahead and play some scout teemo head on over to ranked we'll go play five games over there Okay, we got a Scion deck with Shadow Isle. So probably a deck that's trying to make Scion ephemeral. Maybe a Mist Wraith deck also. Um, I'm going to send the Chump Lump back, but I don't know. Maybe I could keep that Chump Lump, but there we go. This hand looks awesome, though, right? Like, this is really what we want. So we're going to have round three. We'll be able to play a Scout Caitlyn, and then we'll have the Chain Vest to be able to protect, right? Because, like, the one mana protection is really important with the Chain Vest. Um, and then, you know, like we'll be able to scout Caitlyn attack. The next round, we can even Cataclysm to get the scout attack and attack some more. So really hoping they don't have, like, a Vengeance, because <laughs> might as well call this all-in Caitlyn. Hope they add the Arc Arcana skill, Ar Arcana skill sometimes. Man, are they gonna be able to kill Caitlyn? I hope not. Me, miss, not by a long shot. <laughs> Please don't kill my Caitlyn. Yay! Let's investigate. Okay. Um, I smell a rat. Could have scout that thing, but I wanted to kind of just keep this man available instead. All right, lots of flash bomb traps. So already six flash bomb traps. Dark water scourge. That means they're going to have... Oh, they're... oh, wait. They can't have Deathmark, can they? No, they can't. No, that's an Ionia card, right? Oh, they're going to have Mask Mother, right. So Mask Mother is a 7. 7. So three, four, five, six, seven. Keep on pace. They're probably like, what? <laughs> coming. Find the beginning. I don't think I golden ages. I know we could, but I don't think I do. Wow, four damage right there. 
Four traps, four out of five. Tough places bring tough people. Yeah, another one of those. All right, so I got 18 flash bombs in the top 10. Only one? Practice, as they say, makes perfect. Come on, only one? Seven, seven, ten, fourteen. That's lethal. I guess that's what it takes to take down a Caitlyn is double Dark Water Scourge, double Mass Mother, then also bring back the two Dark Water Scourges. There's no shortage of possibilities, but there's always a best path. Now we wait. Let's investigate. Only one drawn this round also, so like we're not doing like any damage to them with our Caitlyn either. So I only just do the one. Twenty-nine flash bombs. I've never seen that kind of flash bomb activity. Three. One step ahead. <laughs> Such a crazy amount of flash bombs. They're not drawing that many. I guess they average three flash bombs per card the next nine cards. Wow, okay. So it's not... So the good news is that it's not atrocity, right? Four, three... So now Caitlyn, Caitlyn strikes and does ten, if Caitlyn strikes. Yeah, and they're at ten, and I guess they can't keep Caitlyn from striking. Of course, if they would have like a a removal spell for the Caitlyn, we have the backup Caitlyn in hand, Another still gets to attack because of the scout. Case closed. And GG's. Poppy Zed. Flash bombs are good against Poppy Zed, if it, but the problem is like, you know, trying to get the flash bombs there before you die. But they are good against Poppy Zed. Oh, this veteran investigator could just help them go crazy. I like that it's a two drop, you know, like just blocker, I guess. Hot on the trail. The Yordle here is with me. That's 
Come on, draw a flash bomb trap. Draw a trap. Go. Oh. Such a good time to draw a trap. Man, I really wish I had a sharp sight. My shield is yours. And, um, considering going Cataclysm, Green Glade Duo, or playing uh, Veteran Investigator, so we both draw a card, so maybe they draw a trap. I think I'll do that. When Prime calls, a reply is proper. I should kill Young Witch. It's gonna kill Young Witch tomorrow. Officer J. S. Hawkjaw. All right, Caitlin. Hopefully your eight flash bombs. We good enough. Hopefully they draw one here and kill the poppy. Maybe draw another two over here, kill the green they do. But oh, come on, zero. Uh. Oh, I guess they didn't have a single pump spell. Hey, you the best. Man, so close to killing that, and then they rally. Great hand for them, though. Great hand. That will do. We got a Victor deck up next. All right, so we got Teemo and protection for Teemo with Sharp Sight and Prismatic Barrier. Probably send Prismatic Barrier back though. Against against Piltoverin's on deck, all their removal is just going to be a lot cheaper than Prismatic Barrier. Yordle no Squire can make a super cheap. Created card. I'm playing Victor. I'm probably going to be. The thing I'm worried about here is they're probably going to. Yes, yeah, like all they're doing is playing all the things that make created cards. They're probably going to be a lecturing Yordle deck. And lecturing Yordle, of course, makes those. Uh, ooh. That can level up Teemo. Well, what have we here? We can actually have leveled up Teemo here. Uh, 
Let's investigate. Kill Victor. Need one more mana. Sharp Sight and Cataclysm. Yeah, we're just gonna draw it only Teemo the rest of the game. Oh yeah, it's all good pants. I think it's. I think that's something you have to like apply for and and stuff, and I never have. I guess we're gonna do this. I don't know. They mini morph. There's lecturing oral. It's better to kill lecturing oral. Regen and impact. I guess it's going to keep growing, too. Alright, we're killing Victor. Yeah, exactly. So if, if you have... Uh, so we have the Cataclysm there. If your opponent has a unit with Spell Shield then you can um, Cataclysm and they won't challenge and so you just get the free attack. So like your team, like so if we would Teemo Cataclysm, it would just be Teemo just attacking and get a free hit in with Teemo. So yeah, that could be pretty cool. Turning yourself in. All right, so we can assume they're gonna just double poison dart, kill the Teemo, and then I play new Teemo. And then they draw a flash bomb and it kills that, and then they don't have any blockers. Oh, they did not do that. They did not draw a flash bomb. So I guess they're gonna use like Pokey Stick here. No, they're just taking the Oh wait! They only had mana. Oh, because they played the tiny they played the tiny shield. They didn't have two mana to play the two. Right, 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 right. How's Caitlyn not leveled up yet? This is where it would be good to play Hexcore Foundry. I don't have Hexcore Foundries in here. Um, didn't quite find the room for them. This is exactly the point where Hexcore Foundries would be good to have. Closing in on the no backup needed. So holding on to hope for the if we get draw the scout card. Oh, I was gonna say we could have scout Teemo. So only two traps. Even though they have a whole lot of traps over there. Only drew two. We got a mirror match in the boards. The future is steel and science. Your future is behind bars, Victor. Freeze! Really hope they don't have any more. Your future's behind bars, Victor. From all the regions, we are one. Son, I need to never let my guard down. Reporting it. All right, draw some flash bombs and some traps. Oh. All right, well, I guess I'm supposed to do this, this will be before attacking animals. because of the extra damage from Caitlyn. All right, that'll do. All right, two and one for Scout Teemo. Another criminal court, another case. GG's. Poppy Zed. This was our loss. Poppy Zed's really good. But the good thing is they are nerfing two of the cards tomorrow, I guess. It feels weird keeping Sharpsight with no units, but 
just too good of a card. Really wish this was Caitlyn. This hand would look great if this was Caitlyn. Giving them the... Because we need to give them flash bomb traps. Alright, well at least they don't have as good of hand as they did last time. Because we had a great hand last time against Poppy Zed. We really did have a great hand. And we lost. Their hand was just as good, if not better. Without a sound. Without even a sound. Hot on the trail. They won't suffer long. I am a shadow. Looks like this game was just who had the attack token round three. We got the attack token round three. You know, we're looking much better. They have the attack token round three. They're looking much better. Sometimes that's the game. Who has the attack token round three? Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. Wouldn't be a quest without some danger. What a hand. Yeah, I mean, this, none of this matters. None of this matters. <laughs> Zed's always been scary with, you know, in, uh, you know, with, with Sharp Sight. But once they made two mana twin disciplines, that made Zed much scarier. And then they printed a card in Poppy that made Zed even, even scarier. And yeah, it's just... It's just unreal now. We need help from these flash bomb traps. Please kill this poppy. Or not. Oh, come on. It didn't kill Poppy? Wait, are we still good? How many? You've done six? Okay, so no, we're not good. Seven? We're so close to killing them. So that does seven damage to them right there. So close to killing them. Alright, then obviously we need them to draw two flash bombs here. Oh, we have the pop caps also. Oh, there's only one. Wow, we had just terrible flash bomb luck. Ugh. And pop cap lock. Man. Um, but then the printing of Poppy now. Now Poppy gives another just game breaking champion to pair with Zed to be able to play this kind of aggressive deck that really maximizes Zed. But you know, like what else before Poppy, like what what would you do with that deck? You know, you'd play like Fiora, but then again, you know, like after the Fiora, Nerf Fiora wasn't as good, so you'd play like what, Garen or there just wasn't a good secondary champion. Or like a, a good enough secondary champion to Zed. Shivana sometimes, right? Like we we did Zed Shivana. It looked it looked pretty good, but not like 
Not as good as Poppy here. Yeah, Lee Sin, but then that's, you know, that doesn't really maximize a lot of the other, you know, some of like your other units and stuff like that, your other attackers, because, right, you want to attack. You couldn't give Lee Sin Overwhelm. It'd be really hard to level up Lee Sin. If we had the attack token round three last game, we definitely win that. Or if we would have just got a little bit better luck, we would have like you know drawn one more Mystic Shot top deck. They draw one more Puff Cap, right? Like that game was so close. But if we just had the attack token round three, we would have won that. This hand's looking a lot like last hand, where it's kind of just a whole bunch of nothing right now, hoping, um, hoping we draw Caitlyn. Caitlyn's definitely our best card in this matchup for those flash bomb traps. We've lost both games, and we've had Caitlyn round three both games. <laughs> so we've had we've had really, really good hands for this matchup. But it's so hard to beat this deck. Without a sound. I'm going to be very happy with the Young Witch and Poppy nerfs, and we'll just kind of see what happens from there. It's not going to kill the deck or anything like that. Like They're, they're not getting nerfed that much. But I'm just happy that they exist. That was pretty nice. That... Do not never mind. I was going to say that could be game winning, but never mind. I said I had Caitlyn round three the other two games and we still lost, but of course they've had Zed round three every single game. And it's so hard to beat that card. Puff cap. So if I play this, it goes to 19, goes to 38, and they go down to 13. Then they draw one for turn, and then I activate the top five. So it's like them drawing six. And so I need 13 puff caps on the top six. Assuming they don't open attack and kill me, but of course, if they open attack and kill me, we couldn't stop that anyway. Start. Hang on, Buzzball. Hey. Oh, found me. I've got to have ten puff caps in the top five cards. No, eight. So close. My life. Wow, they played Shadow Assassin. Wow, they played Shadow Assassin. They could have definitely just attacked and killed me if they had any kind of pump spell. Alright, so finished up with a 3 and 2 there with Scout Teemo. Finally beat Poppy Zed. We played all three of those games were super close. And it kind of seemed like that third one was like the, the hand that we had like the worst hand. But we did get the Scout Teemo and gave them a ton of puff caps. And then just kind of got there with that Karina and their uh, extra draw spell. Um, seemed like some of the other ones, you know, like we had better hands, but... Didn't quite get there. They didn't play Poppy that third game. All the other games, they had both Zed and Poppy um, in the other games. But I think, but still, like, you know, the matches were really close. You know, like, 
for how good that deck is and how it's receiving a couple of nerfs to be able to be that close to a deck that's going to be receiving nerfs that also has Zed on round three every single game was a good sign. And I actually kind of liked our deck. You know, sure, this we thought this would maybe just be like a meme tier deck at first, but still playing in ranked three and two um, and one and two against a deck that's receiving a couple of nerfs tomorrow. That's a great sign. So... There's a lot of good stuff to like about this, I think. The field promotion actually looked good. It looked really good with both Teemo and Caitlyn when we were able to have it. It really made those champions look even more powerful than what they normally are. So nice little duck here with Scout Teemo. All right, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments. Let me know what, what kind of champion combinations you want to see for the upcoming expansion. Give me those deck ideas. Let me know what you want me to build and I'll do it. But uh, that's going to be it for Scout Teemo. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.